Let's have a look at this uh, DLP rear projection TV I found that someone was throwing out. Uh, I think they were throwing it out because, for one, there's a scratch in, right in the middle of the screen. So just because of that, I think I'm not going to actually bother fixing it. Probably just uh, play around with it and get some parts out of it. It should be a nice uh, high-intensity discharge lamp and the DLP uh, setup. Or maybe it could be turned into sort of a projector. The other problem was uh, when I first powered it up, the uh, there's a sort of buzzing noise coming out of it. It's quite annoying. Uh, let's power it up and see if it still does it. I also think the uh, the lamp is near the end of its life, so that's another reason why it's probably not worth uh, fixing. Okay, the lamp uh, goes in this hole here, and this here's gonna pull that, that cover off. Yeah, there's the fan for the lamp. Uh, we got some ballast. I think the light engine is somewhere in there. Can't really see it very well. Some control boards and a filter board. Let's connect power and give this thing a try. As usual, since it was sitting outside, one of some scrap metal uh, thief cut the cord. There's that buzzing sound I mentioned. I think that's the color wheel. Because if you stop the fan, it doesn't go away. It could also be the ballast, although it doesn't sound like it's coming from that area. It sounds like it's coming from somewhere deeper in. Let's see if we're getting any display. Yep. Let's see if we can get a signal to this. Okay, it's just hooked up to the IPTV box, and it's not, it's not happy for some reason. Uh, maybe the video standard is wrong, video uh, sync video rate. Let's just replug this into the uh, composite output. That should give us a black and white picture. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if this will give us some TV. Lights are out. Give it a few more seconds. Okay, this box is working now, and the image on this TV actually doesn't look very good. Uh, maybe I'm just used to uh, phosphor based displays like CRTs and plasmas, but this just looks quite horrible, and I would never want to watch this. The problem could also have, uh, have to do with um, smoke, because it smells. Uh, it has that smell like it was in a smoker's house, and it's possible the smoke has gotten inside the uh, housing and gotten on the lens or on the screen and is causing the light to diffuse. That could be why it looks, partially why it looks so bad. But as for the noise, I definitely think it's the color wheel, because if you jostle it... I don't know if you can hear it, but the sound changes a little bit, like it's, it is something that's moving. So it's probably not the ballast. Anyway, it's getting late now, so I think I'll uh, stop this for tonight. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for future videos on this. Thanks for watching.